Hello, my name is Leslie Tano. I'm from uh, Alexandra and Google University of Riyadh and collaborator of uh, plant identification uh, company. And uh, today I will uh, like to present only the problem in work in progress. So we put the problem, the solution is in the middle, and we try to make a plan. The main idea we have now, up to now, a very clear theory how to capture and match logic the uh, initial semantics of initial algebra semantics given by theory of algebra and the intention and the, the plan is to have something similar for for given by final quality which is a dual definition for initial semantics so and perhaps uh, and uh, a more ambitious uh, goal Will be to have a uniform approach of out of that, and this is given by the category theory, and we start from that. So I intend to present only up to here. Let's start with the problem. Okay. It's a bit more technical, but I, I guess you can understand. The, okay, we have a category of sets. That means we have objects are sets and morphy between sets. Yeah, this is the main ingredients of the category theory. And we also have a function from category of sets. And this can be seen as a signature of a signature of the algebra of co-algebra, respectively. And uh, in the most abstract way, we can define an F algebra being the function from F of A to F. Which is an example they show. Okay, we can also define algebra morphies. And in similar, we have the dual definition for algebra, that is the structure from C, the F of C, the duality. We just change the arrows and similarly we can define the quadrant amount just not necessary to stand in details but what we have to keep in mind in this way is defined as plus and this and this way is defining the quadrant okay? okay and no what is an initial algebra is initial object is a category of F algebra, considering that we have a piece of the functor F. And F. That is very, very nice. It is constructed in this way. We start from the initial object from category of set, but it is an empty set. From the initial model, we have just a unique arrow to any uh, set, any object from C. But you want it this way. Okay, go to f of zero, and now we apply the image of this morphism by f, and we repeat this one. So this is the way we can obtain the and the co-limit co -limit of this object, of this diagram in the category of set, give us initial algebra. So we have a way how to complete the initial algebra into category. And for algebra is just do. We start from the final model. So we have arrows from any set to the final object. Yeah. And we just, now we have a diagram, and the algebra is the limit for this diagram. So in the category theory, so we have a very nice. Uh, framework to work with the uh, initial uh, model. It's very, very nice. So the idea is if we can capture this kind, this very nice framework and make an object with the goal of the research. So 
los torneos. Okay. Okay, let's, let, let us consider the example of the natural numbers. The functor is just one of the x, it is uh, okay, the parameter of the functor. In that case, we have a, uh, okay, uh, let's see how we can obtain the natural numbers as an initial model for this functor. We start from F. Then I go into one to zero. One uh, is uh, just a single stroke, a single, uh, single -tone set in the category of theory because we have an arrow that maps one element in the uh, unique element from single -tone. Yeah, you, you know, so I start here, and this, this could be zero. After that, we by the of this via f one zero and we obtain one and two is one we can treat it. This is how it works in the category theory the construction of the initial model. Yeah. It's very abstract, it's not very easy to, to work in practice with it. But the intuition is very clear, right? But the intuition is very clear, yeah. The yeah. 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 And then, but when you mention logic, you add a symbol for each of these symbols, then add a new. Yeah, yeah, it is, okay. Let's let the same construction now. You mention logic. <laughs> this is the specification matching logic, okay? We have zero, it must be a constant. We have also, which is a unary function, because if I'm in this way by the functor, and oh, the, uh, set of natural numbers here uh, apply applicative matrix. It's just the least fixed point of uh, this uh, pattern. Zero, which takes the uh, solver of it and, uh, under this construction. Okay. And zero magnitude. But the thought must be rejected. This is the definition. Okay. Okay. No confusion. Okay. The theory process. Good. And. Okay. And theory we can derive. Okay. From the proof system of natural logic. The. Uh, Induction principle. They derive the rule in matching logic. This is and you see how simple can we formulate. Okay, then we can use uh, this principle in, in the proof stuff. Okay. Yeah. Now you can prove this as a theorem. Yeah. Using the theory that we showed the people. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we have to finish that in the paper we intended to put this year. This is somehow joint, the joint work which is shown longer before yeah. but, but the main point here is that you can take now any polynomial function, polynomial in the sense of. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see later. Yeah. Uh, right. And for such polynomial factors, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Okay. I, I guess I I wrote some slide in the plane. I guess <laughs> I, I missed something. Sure. Okay. Okay. That's the thing. Okay. Now the, let's see how the final model is. We start from the final step and we apply. Okay. The the limit of this diagram gives you the final model. Which is the uh, isomorphism is set. This functor is category theory. The final model in category theory is the symmetry set. And after that, we obtain P1. We can take the first one isomorphism to zero and start to solve. Okay, then the, the second injection has been the surface of function. In this way, uh, and so on. And also, we consider that the star consists of uh, its infinity, that means we apply function to all the remainder of the moment, the unique element. This is a final model for natural numbers. Yeah, and yeah, please. And the uh, in the third step, we can mix and uh, two or five two or five one and even the other one with this one could be this is the this one. Ah, it's this one. Ah, this one. This one. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Theory for uh, coordinate numbers that we have to talk about. Uh, we uh, can also define the predecessor function, which is kind of this structure. Of course. Uh, and uh, the, the final model now the, is defined as the greatest fixed point for the same. Uh, the same uh, object. So, uh, here the knot is missing, but we can put it here the knot as well, and we have a single theory where the final model and the initial model can be defined. I have given theories, and we can put it on. Okay. So the final model is needed. Much more convenient to, to work with uh, the structure like the predecessor function here. But for defining uh, the greatest fixed point, that constructor is much useful. But constructor, if you have the structure defined 
then it's very easy to design the constructor and then composing this uh, component and constructor take the component and put back in the single element. And we have this. Okay. How to the height? No. No. Height We have to Also, we have now coin action principle, which is just the dual of the induction principle, we change the errors. But now, okay, here we have in the final model. Was that was uh, my student and the uh, you know. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, at, at least these strings like that, yeah. But uh, I, I yeah, because it's very simple, but it works in the same way. This is Okay. Ah. Well, here, okay. I, I get the point. Here we can see the generic example that this six point is complete in category theory and how it is completed. And we have a one 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 correspondence. Zero we have not appeared. And Similar for the final model. So from the limit of the background, and we can see how the greatest six point is completed in the image. That is very nice, correct. So the main question, does it? Yes. <laughs> but what kind of yeah, what kind of functor we have to consider? Consider the, the polynomial functors because here we have the initial model and final model, like algebra. Yeah. This is a, okay. The classic definition for the functors. Okay. We have identity, constant, uh, addition, uh, product, sum, product, and each one. Okay. Some papers that most popular is from the for us, it's are very, very important. For instance, we can express uh, more machines in this But the exponent is the most difficult to, to capture. That is the idea. Okay. One idea using this we have to, to lift up the definition of operation of our specification, and this is not very easy. Not very nice because you need the standard definition for matching logic theory defining corresponding to a functor and about this. And will be a lot, a lot of auxiliary concerns with that. But there is another definition for a polynomial functors given by unary confiners. Unary because we have just one variable. There are also inactive containers when we can have uh, many variables. So this is an inactive set fabric for each A we have a set B of A. Also, you can define the 
a from h and b from b of a for, for the small uh, step. And the constant exponent is just a copy property that is for binary comparison. This is just the set of functions from b of a to x. It's a particular case for dependent uh, product. You know, the container function, very nice and simple. It's a way to imagine what this concept. It would be very complex for uh, how you can see for, for this. We consider the counter form of entities and for the operation that at can be written as a confinement function. Here we can see how stop it. We can express the paper tone, the constant key. The variable they in the function, and after that, apply some constructs which can be defined in general. This way. But now, here we have to use some more Okay, this is the main idea. The common design logic to get the full table. Perhaps for that, okay, not necessarily. Here I try to mention uh, polyadic logic. That means the symbols have an arity. We have to see open time. In the tone, we can define it in this way, but later it's much more suitable. Oh. Also, the initial mode could be just a function undefined for the board. This function also can be defined in the way, same as the single tone. Matching logic is better to, to consider this one represented by top because he can take the motif being just in clock because it's top. and corresponds to how the gauges fix point is computed in matching logic. It is going to make us much better. Things are a bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. The idea of okay, to consider the tetrary symbol, this function is a left total, this partial function. The binary function to represent just the for that, special from the category theory, and uh, of course. And uh, of the you know, the, the graph of uh, over time, which is important. Okay. And uh, the idea of having the functions of the exponent and applying it to x, x is just one, okay, uh, is just y where x and y is a pair to the graph of pair. This is, this is the main idea. You have to represent the graph. And we have an axiom defining the partial function that is where the relation between okay over x and y is just a partial function when it's left total and for function it must be partial function and total which is very close to the function okay and now we have three axioms that means For each element from the, uh, from the exponent, the 
we have okay the graph of f x and y must uh, satisfy the axiom for functions Um, again, I'm sufficient again. Uh, sure. <clears throat> and the blue button, the blue button, sure. Okay. I, don't, I didn't pay too much with Google Meet. I have uh, Microsoft Meet, uh, WebEx, uh, Zoom. <laughs> and not sure. Should be okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure it's the best one. Huh? Is this an idea? Also, the index of family can be represented very simple, just finish OK. And uh, also can be very easy to use. The logic is just a set of pairs, which can be defined very simple. There are several. And then also we can uh, get uh, somehow. Uh, this construction from the theory and just in the offense because we have an ensemble that that's an element from the exponent. Okay. If you can capture this one, this can what is very because we have a very simple uh, Expression for functors now we can that's one point factor for the for this. Also, we just want you know in construct because and of course it must be function, no confusion and no junk, just two axioms for that. Okay, and also, we can derive an induction principle for it. Okay. So, somehow similar for the final algebra. Yeah. We have a quadrant now, okay, for you know, redundancy also. We also have to discuss about next one <laughs> because quadgebra is very suitable to define uh, dynamic uh, systems. And if we think we have a transition system, it is very out what we have from a uh, from a state, and this one how to get to the next next the next step. It is very interesting. And of course, the relationship between constructor and structures. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, good. Let's do this. These are the axioms, okay, relating to that one, and we can derive the co-induction principle, a very simple one for it. Okay. And to have an idea, let's see how the list are defined. This is the factor for this, okay, we can see. We have the products defined by the product elements. And here are the uh, Corresponding the notation from uh, the United component functors. Uh, you can see that what's happening. Here are given applicative notability because it's taken from <laughs> from presentation. Uh, and uh, we can see now that head of L is just L out, tail of L is just L next, and uh, 
Is the same back here, it's binary, here it's pure. Here. And the meal is just this, uh, this element, which is similar what we have seen at the beginning of the presentation. And in the bulk of the wood method for this function, it works out well, but here the definition is a bit more uh, complex, but we can have it. Because I tried a different way to, 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 to get this uh, the final model for this one. And I didn't succeed to have a the solution, a lot of equation, a lot of other using the using very sweet. No, no, no. Uh, these are uh, defined by first uh, from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take some good several papers. Usually, the English is in Latin, I guess, or some university. Yes, you know, yeah. Uh, induction chain, no, we only find that the uh, first amount is not yeah. the Several approaches in cutting the One given by uh, That is this weapon. One time, one time, but the attacks and code attacks still have been done. Uh, how to make this uh, make it work? Like the new thing and your presentation. And notation based on the notation and then It's an extra part, you can think of too much about it. But it's a big mess. Yes. In a discussion with Vlad Rizzo and David Novak, they, 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 they use them okay, to, to, to implement co recursion in uh, and, um, Coke. Oh, okay. 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 O
Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I, I just finished now. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> I finished. <laughs>